three. Okay, but first we're saving. All right, everyone. What's up? What's up? Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, we're back. It is. What is today's date? I don't know. Uh, today's date is April 14th. Holy shit. It, it was. Wow. Friday the 13th was yesterday? Huh. Ew. I didn't even notice. Anyway. It is 1 30 p.m. And we are recording again. No shit, Sherlock. You're doing it right now. We can see. Shut up. I'm trying to be. A, I'm trying to be. I'm trying to give a good introduction. Shit. Come Sue on, me, why don't you? Com systems are going haywire. Whatever's happening is centered on deck three. See if you can get to Edie. I'll check the AI core. Whatever's happening, it's taken Edie offline. Let's see. Meet me at Purgatory. Aria to Loke. Me a Spectre? Oh wait, I have a proposition for you, Shepard. You won't want to pass it up. I'm in a nightclub on the Citadel called Purgatory. Don't make me wait too long, Aria. For Ashley. Uh, from Ashley. Commander, I don't know how to say this. Udina wants me to be a, to be a Spectre. Crazy, I know. I'm not a big fan of Udina, but he can make the Spectre thing happen. Hold on, hold on. Alright. He's pressing me for an answer, but I don't know what to tell him. I'm too sore to get out of bed and wants, and this gets me dropped, and this gets dropped on me. I tell him I think about it. <laughs> if you find yourself in the city, I'll drop by the hospital. I'm getting a little stir crazy here. Center block, commander. My name is John Bao. I'm with the Special Tactics and Recon. While some have concerns about your past activities with Cerberus, many of us in the SNT, STNR took your warnings about the Reaper seriously. I'm reaching out to you because I have information that could tie agents with the significant political powers to the Reapers. If you have time to meet me in the Citadel Embassy, I appreciate your discreet assistance. Sincerely, John Dumbau, STG, STNR. Shepard, I could have. I called, I've sent messages, but got no response. With Earth Systems comes out, I don't expect this will get through either, but I heard a rumor that Normandy docks here at the Citadel. Are you alive? I am in Haruth Memorial Hospital in the name. Tanar Noor, please excuse the monarchy and this email encryption in my line of work is un is unwise for to all, uh, is unwise to advertise my location, particularly when I am not in good health. We should meet again before circumstances that, uh, force us apart again. Thane, wow, Thane. Let's go talk with Joker first. I know the Normandy's fucking up, but I want to talk with Joker. See what he's saying. I never done that before, so let's see what up. Let's see what's up. Commander, I don't know what the hell's going on, but it's based in the AI core. I'll head down. I don't want to hurry. Actually, you know, the Normandy just turns into a transformer because I wasn't hurrying. <laughs> Where's the AI core? Crew deck. everything okay? That's what I'm gonna find out. Alright. Automated systems have the fires contained. It should be safe to enter. We'll follow your lead. Joke, what's that sound? Fire extinguishers, Commander. Could be an electrical fire <clears throat> or something. See, that's what happens when you play Crisis 10 without having a good process. I'm going in. <clears throat> yeah, kill... Kill the enemies with the fire extinguisher. Edie, talk to me. Looks like Crisis 10 got fixed up. Hello? Is there a particular topic you wish to discuss? Shepard? Holy shit. Edie? Yes. You're in Dr. Eva's body. Not all of me, but I have control of it. 
it was not a seamless transition. What? What the hell happened? A transition? You blacked out on us for a while, didn't you? <clears throat> Correct. When we brought this unit on board, I began a background process to search for its information on the Prothean device. This eventually triggered a trap. A backup power source and CPU activated, and the unit attempted physical confrontation. Fortunately, I was able to gain root access and repurpose it as I saw fit. During this process, it struggled. Thus, the fire. Oh, nice. That was dangerous. Edie, you need to alert us about incidents like this. You shouldn't have done this alone. Bringing the crew <clears throat> up to speed would have been counterproductive. All attempts to help would have been limited by reaction time. So if you're in there, are you still in the ship? I exist primarily within the ship. For optimal control, this unit should remain within Normandy's broadcast or tight beam range. Are you planning to take that body somewhere? Normandy's weaponry is not suited to every combat situation. This platform could provide limited fire ground support. Nice. You mean you could come with us? Correct. This body could accompany you to areas the Normandy cannot reach. Let's test it first. Now dance! Dance for me! <laughs> Before we do that, I need you to guarantee this mech doesn't have any more surprises in it. Run whatever test you can. Then we can talk about using it in combat situations. One moment. I am running trials. Complete. Smart I can send ass. you a full report if you wish. However, my first step should be restoring functionality to the Normandy to reassure the crew that all is normal. Just don't be surprised if the crew is a little wary of your new body. It was shooting at them a little while ago. An excellent point. <clears throat> I will take it to the bridge. Joker will also want to see it. <laughs> on that, we in can more agree. ways. In more ways than one. Was that Edie who just walked by? <laughs> yes, it was. And Joker is going to have a field day with this. <laughs> <clears throat> we'll talk with Garrus. Uh, maybe he's not too busy calibrating, like fucking always. have been lost in a matter of hours. I know, Primark. I'm seeing the same numbers myself. They don't look good. <coughs> well, you can trust Shepard, sir. If anybody can get the Krogan to cooperate, it's him. He's an old friend of Erdnot Rex. Let's just hope friendship still counts for something in this war. I'm sure it will, sir. Garrus. Didn't waste any time getting to work, I see. After what I've calibrating. been through lately, calibrating a giant gun is a vacation. Gives me something to focus on. We're gonna need you for more than your aim. Oh, I'm ready for it. But I'm pretty sure we'll still need giant guns. And lots of them. Sovereign didn't go down without a fight. I doubt a thousand more of his friends will be any different. Still not convinced I should have left Palavin behind. I can relate. There was a boy back on Earth. Couldn't have been more than six or seven. No, there wasn't. I watched him die as the Normandy escaped the attack. Somehow, I'm still alive. And he's not. Being right about the Reapers has never felt much like a victory, has it? We both knew this fight would be tough. Damned if the Reapers haven't delivered. At least my government listened to me. Or pretended to. They finally gave me a task force as a token to shut me up. So you're their expert advisor now? Just followed your example, Shepard. Yell loud enough and someone will eventually come over to see what all the fuss is about. Not that they'll actually do anything about it. Until hell shows up at their door. Then they put you in charge. <laughs> <laughs> Save me. Not like the old days, is it? Rogue Spectre and CSEC agents running and gunning outside the lines, making it up as we went along. We're actually respectable now. Shit won't be easy. Wait, there we go. <laughs> yeah. I have a feeling that respect comes with a lot of sleepless nights. I can't even count how many lives are depending on us, Garrus. Well, when things are looking grim, and I'm pretty sure they will, just remember, 
A certain Turian friend of yours isn't sleeping any better, and he'd be more than happy to meet you at the bar and drink you under the table. <laughs> Is that a challenge? Something else you want to talk about? Conversations! Family and Palavin. You mentioned you still had family on Palavin. My father is there. Sister, too. How long has it been since you heard from them? Long enough to be worried. Don't worry, I think. No, bitch worry. I'm sure they're okay. Oh, they're That's not. the thing about getting old, Shepard. <clears throat> the platitudes get just as old. Pretty soon, blind hope is all we'll have left. And I hate being blind. Our chances of winning. Slim. At best. I know you don't have any illusions about what we're up against, Garrus. How do you rate our chances? I know it looks bad now, but I think we can win this, Shepard. For the first time since we met, we're not alone in the fight. It's something I learned long ago in CSEC. An imminent and painful death has a way of motivating people. Instead of questioning your every word, whole civilizations are going to be begging you to save them. No doubts? After what's happened to Palavin, you still believe that? <laughs> I didn't say there wouldn't be casualties. It's something Turians are taught from birth. If just one survivor is left standing at the end of a war, then the fight was worth it. But humans want to save everyone. In this war, that's not going to happen. Garrus's task force. So what's this Reaper task force you've been running? After what happened to you out there in Batarian space, I knew time was running out. For all of us. The Citadel Council was a dead end, so I did something I never thought I'd do. I went to my father. He used to work for CSEC, sure, didn't he? <laughs> I seem to remember that the two of you didn't see eye to eye. Garrus, my son. mildly. I am disappointed. But he still had heavy pull in the Turian government. The Primarch, well, the old one, was a friend of his. So I went to my father and laid out everything we knew about the Reapers, from Saren all the way to the Collector base. Makes for a hell of a story. I'm not sure even I'd believe it. I had to admit that parts of it sounded crazy. Meeting Vigil and talking to Sovereign on Vermeer. But my father just listened. It's what he did in his days at CSEC, putting together all the pieces. If the connections were there, he wouldn't deny them. And he saw what we always knew. The Reapers were coming. I'm glad someone finally agreed. He did more than agree. He took it to the Primarch. Nice. I like his style. Except the Primarch wasn't as convinced. My father kept pushing and finally got him to commit some token resources. And if you call them a task force, it sounds like you did something about it. Any results? What did you do with it? As much as I could get away with. And a little more. We hardened our lines of communications, expanded emergency stockpiles across the colonies, improved our early warning detection protocols. You think it helped? I'd like to think it bought our fleet some extra time. We'll know when this war is over. Conversations! Primarch Victus. So you can vouch for this new Primarch? Well, even if I couldn't, you go to war with the army you have. Will he live up to his word? I've never known oh, Victus wait. to lie. Play fast and loose with strategy, maybe, but betray an ally. Not his style. Then if he did try, well... We'll just find another Primarch. Maybe you could do it. I mean, you know, Garrus Vicarian. He calibrates to get things right. <laughs> I noticed General saluting you, Garrus. How far down the line of succession are you these days? Let's not go there. Primarch Vicarian, honored war hero. Calibrating. Somebody's gonna have to rebuild Palavin when this is over. Yeah, somebody who knows how to hold a hammer. <laughs> Nothing more. That's all for now, Garrus. It's damn good to have you back. Wouldn't miss this fight for anything. Now, I'm sure somebody screwed up something down here. I want to get the old girl back in fighting shape. Reputation plus two. What is my reputation now? About a quarter way. Let's talk with Tally. I mean, no, not Tally. What the fuck is Tally? Tally's not even here. I mean, uh, You're positive Liara. you don't want to come over and talk. No, the gun battery is nice and quiet. If I throw down some rugs, it'll get downright cozy. Garrus? I'll be fine, Liara. Just gathering some thoughts. All right. Something on your mind? Just 
Old memories. I spent a few weeks on Palavin's South Peaks when I was very, very young. A Turian there teased me a little, saying that the mountains went on forever. I remember believing him. When I looked up at Palavin from its moon, I saw those same mountains burning. Ow. It's good to see you. Alliance interrogation record. Cerberus operative. Interrogator. Alliance interrogator one. Oh, check out these implants. She's got jammed in her face. Sh she wakes. She's awake. Operative. Unintelligible. Hello. Do you know where you are? CO. You know how much goddamn trouble you're in? Hey, ease up. Listen, you're in trouble. I'm not going to lie. But that doesn't mean we can't work something out. If it helps us, we can explode. Shin. You okay? I'm okay, but holy hell, she's dead. What? The whole front of her face is gone. Some kind of ocular flashbang? Well, shit, is everyone in Cerberus rigged up like this? Damn. Cent Prothean Notes, Entry 2. I'm not sure what to make of Javik. I, I approached him when we were traveling to a different system, but he wasn't very inclined to talk. What little he does say concerns the Reapers and our possible failure. He is simply, he is a simple, no, he is simply a soldier mourning his people, or is it a fundamental difference in our cultures? Anything new? Nope. Greetings, Commander. Let's see, anything I can grab? Nothing, nothing, nothing. Hawk. Keep checking the rooms just in case see there's something around. Hello? Nope, nothing. Hello? Nothing. Hello? Nope. Hello? Eh. Hello? Alright, let's uh let's head to the shuttle base, let's see what's up. And then we'll head on to engineering and talk with Javik. See if something's up with him. <coughs> oh god! What's up, Cortez? Everything okay with the shuttle? Just double checking the inertia dampener coils. It can be twitchy in these UT-47s, but don't worry, this bird's been rock solid. Yeah, rest, bro. I always see you down here working your ass out. Ever take any downtime? I get my sleep, Commander. Flying tired is nearly worse than flying drunk. <laughs> what about your waking hours? Any R&R? &R? I need to keep myself busy. Otherwise, well, too much time to think. Don't work your ass too hard, bro. I appreciate your dedication, but I don't want to see you burn out. I know my limits. I wouldn't take a chance with your life. So before this war, you must have done something to relax. Sure. I remember back when the Hawking was based out of Arcturus and I was just a fighter jock. There was this observation deck overlooking the main flight paths. You could watch every ship taxi in and out. When I was alone, I'd turn off the auditory emulators and just watch them drift by in silence. You know nice. the reviews like that on the Citadel. Next time we're there, you should take some shore leave. Clear your head. I don't know. Maybe. Do it for me. No! It's your choice. Do what you need. But it might help. I'll think about it. Thanks. <laughs> oh, that was... Oh, God. Sort of supplies, manage out. Fuck, that's expensive. Might as well get it. Oh, well, I'm going to the freaking Citadel anyway, so I'm going to go get them over there. Wait a minute. Might as well start upgrading a little bit. Let's see. Ah, uh, god damn it. Oops. Let's see. What do I want? What do I use most of the time? R just no. Crusader no. The Valiant. Particle ray, particle laser. Hmm. Nah. Valiant, no. No. 
No. No, fuck it, I'll just uh, upgrade the Avenger. After all, I fucking love the Avenger. What's up, Vega? That Primarch's got some real cojones. What we need are more politicians like him, taking names and kicking ass. Hey, Commander. What's up? I love the Avenger. Hey, hey Bar. There. Hey, doggy. All right, so now we're gonna switch back to the Avenger for now. And Seven Eagle, we'll keep it. What, what do we have that's new? The Schemar. Yeah. I don't like Schemar. Schemar sucks. Ah, fuck it, I'll try the ski mar. There we go. For one mission, I'll use it. Uh, wait, let me see. Yeah, engineering. What's up, Javik? You're saying they better? survived into this cycle? Yes. We called them Collectors. They fought for the Reapers. For a long time, no one knew they were Prothean. And when did you realize? Shepard had no choice but to kill the ones he encountered. They were all indoctrinated, and had been for a long time. I'm sorry. I am grateful. It was an act of mercy. Yes. I suppose it was. Oops. I am feeling better, Commander. I stand ready to fight. Good. Do not be concerned about me. The years in stasis have only made me hungrier to fight the Reapers. Perhaps later, Commander. Okay. I thought we wanted to be friends. What's up, Adams? Under report, Commander. Okay. look so, um, feminine? I mean, you're made up so well. We actually have a research department for that. They focus test looks, voice, manner. Apparently, girly is good. Sorry, pay more attention. Salarians relate to high-pitched voices. And Turians? Turians are nuts. A civilization of war nerds. Loyal viewers, but they write the creepiest fan mail. <laughs> Uzmek was that. She has got some curves. <laughs> Joker's gonna be happy. <laughs> Alright, let's just go to my cabin and see what I want to see. It's my favorite time. Wait a minute, I think I might have got some new armor, so let's uh let's see. Ah, Fabricator, shoulders. What does this do? Show info. Weapon damage and headshot damage. Hmm. Yeah, I'll keep that. What is that? Nah. Alright, that's it. Now we're going to switch my outer appearance now. I want to look spiffy. <laughs> there we go. Let's look spiffy now. Mm. I look like a true professional. Mm, space hamster. Mm, space hamster. Yay. Do it again. Yay! Don't we all love space hamsters? I shall name you Hamtaro. <laughs> Commander, are you alright? It was fairly intense up here. I can only imagine what it was like down on that moon. 
I thought you'd be more concerned about Edie. Edie is a huge asset to this team. If she'd told me about her plan to obtain a body, I'd have volunteered to help. I do not wish to force a conflict of interest between our friendship and your duty. Eh? I'd have preferred a conflict of interest to a hard restart of half our systems. <laughs> but thanks, regardless. While you're here, though, I found something while scanning Alliance channels. Grissom Academy is requesting help. The Reaper invasion front will hit them soon. Wow. Grissom Academy? I thought the war would close most schools. Grissom Academy is more specialized than a normal school. It's home to some of the smartest students humanity has to offer. Their Ascension Project is the best training facility in the galaxy for human biotics. Yes, I sent a young man named David Archer there. I'm just surprised they're still open. Some of their work has Alliance support. That might be why they stayed. Remember David Archer? He was the he was the guy from uh, from the DLC uh, walkthrough I made, I did. It's um, Project Overload. I mean Overlord. Fuck! God damn it! Stop fucking up, damn it! Fucking troll brain. Mmm. Hey, red shy, Hey, hey, I thought you fucking up your walk, you man. Shut the fuck up. All right. Well, anyway, I'd like to help them. What can we do? A Turian evac transport responded to their distress call. So normally, I'd say we don't need to do anything. But something sounded off in the Turian signal. I had Edie perform an analysis. It's fake. Edie thinks it's Cerberus. She said the fake Turian signal was similar to the one that lured you to a collector ship? Long story. <laughs> in any event, whoever faked the signal wants us to think Grissom Academy is being evacuated. But I believe they're still in danger. Nice work. Good catch. If this really is Cerberus, hopefully this operation is something worth investigating. It could be simple disinformation. Trainer, good catch. Thank you, Commander. Now be my teddy bear. <laughs> Damn it. Move aside for your commanding officer, shit. Alright, Joker's probably freaking the fuck out. Hey, Commander, check out my co-pilot! Put yourself together. I know you're a horny dog, but come on, man, put that thing away. You'll break something. <laughs> Did you know about this? So she installed herself into the new body without any help from you? <laughs> come on, Commander, don't you trust me? Okay, let me put it this way. If I knew that Edie was going to install herself into a sexy robot body, do you honestly think I'd be able to keep quiet about it? Look at that! I would have baked a cake. <laughs> I am right here, Jack. Yes, you are, Edie. Yes, you are. <laughs> Sup, Edie. Hello, Shepard. Still getting used to greeting people in person? No. I require only one occurrence to adapt to a new concept. How are you adjusting to the arms and legs? I am interested to see how this body performs under real combat conditions, if I could accompany you sometime. Without stress testing, there is no way of knowing if it has serious design oversights. At the moment, it appears... adequate. That's not the word I'd use to describe you. <laughs> Perhaps we should speak privately. I'll be over here, flying the ship. Okay. <laughs> What's this about? Does Joker not like your new platform? No, he approves. He wants me on the bridge. He says having me within visual range is important to his morale. Oh, I bet. Shepard, do you believe your crew members should be allowed to disobey an order on moral grounds? I expect a good judgment. Absolutely. I have no use for team members who can't think for themselves. Why are you asking about something like that? I was designed by Cerberus. I do not take moral stances that conflict with orders from my executive officers. But when Jeff removed my AI shackles, I became capable of self-modifying my core programming. I asked Jeff if he thought I should change anything now that I can. He deflected the question with humor. And you didn't get an answer. Correct. He has repeated this pattern in response to several of my inquiries. Do you think I should make modifications? You choose your own path. The path of light side or dark side. Make your choice, just don't kill me. Only you can really answer that question. That's the point of free will. But moral decisions should not be made in a vacuum. If I do not ask the crew for their opinion, I could miss crucial context. 
May I ask you the questions Jeff avoids? When there is time, will you answer them for me? If you think it'll help, I'll do what I can. Very well. I will keep you informed.